arrived at Mumbai Airport. Yes. How are you feeling, Chris? Very excited. Oh, and tired, yeah? I don't feel it at the moment, but I feel when I get to the hotel, I will. Yeah, good. Tomorrow we're going to play tennis, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> tennis? I'm yeah. terrible at tennis. I am, me too. I won't even hit the ball. Me too, don't worry about We're going to play. <laughs> Actually, this airport reminds me of Heathrow a lot because yes, it keeps it's winding. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> so, what am I thinking? We had a very long flight, and I got to see three new movies. Well, not really new now, but they are to me because I didn't see them in cinema. I got to see the new Men in Black movie, Spider-Man: Far From Home, and I even saw the Aladdin movie. Which one was my favorite? I actually like Men in Black the most, weirdly. I feel very, very tired there. I'm feeling it more and more. I think I really would need a coffee. I've got my suit. I'm all set. I brought the, the bluish purple one this time. I like that one the most because it changes colors depending on the lightning. This is awesome. That one's pretty cool. From far it looks like a person, but when you look up close, it's actually a bunch of clocks. Pretty clever. This is the Malabar Hill Club, which is where I will be staying on this trip while in Mumbai. And the organizers at the Mary Made the Foundation, where I'll be, who have also organized the concert, they're the ones who have booked this um, place, accommodation for us. And it's basically a club. The interesting thing is, it used to be a yacht club, apparently but they've kind of changed it now and it is looks like this it's supposed to be a lot of facilities for only members to use so hopefully later on i'll be able to show you some of those facilities and maybe if i'm free i'll get to use some but i doubt that will happen because it looks like i have a very busy schedule while i'm here i've been put down for a lot of practice and then there's the actual concert itself but we'll see at the very least, I will show you facilities here. And uh, I'm in the club now, so I'm on my way to the room. Just checked in. Gandhi sitting in the corner. Oh yeah, they serve breakfast and food here as well. Mainly breakfast, but they do other meals too. So I'll definitely involve a clip of that. I really like food, so I'm hoping that on this trip I'll get to have a lot of Indian food, as it's always better when I have it here compared to in England since there's more flavour to it here, since it's all fresh. So if I can, I'll show you some of that and I'll definitely be eating some of that too. Today is the day of my concert and I just realised I haven't actually got to show you the place that I've been staying in. So today, I will show you some parts of the club. This is breakfast area where we can go and eat at any time of day actually it's just I just had breakfast so I was thinking of breakfast but we can get lunch and dinner and here is a slight menu of what we can get it's filled with many Indian dishes like dosas and vadas but they also have a lot of western food like omelettes and sandwiches like I said before, one of the most important things in the day of a concert is good breakfast, which is what I have with me right now. Cheese omelette, which should keep me filled for the rest of the day, alongside some toast and some coffee. Delicious. Anyway, I'm excited for today's performance. I've been looking forward to it for a long time. I've prepared a lot, so hopefully it should go well. I'm about to show you the swimming pool and gym where members of this club can go to work out or relax. And hopefully if I can find it, I'll also be able to show you the tennis court. Can't really see the gym. I have to take it through the glass door over there. I don't know what the surrounding thing is, but I thought it looked really nice. But it's really nice here, it looks really... It looks really cool because of the surrounding dance. I like this part. And I, unfortunately, I've been way too busy to actually use any of the stuff. 
Otherwise I would have definitely gone for a good swim. I like swimming. It's my favorite out of all the sports because I'm not exactly a very sporty person. This is the only way of exercising where you don't actually sweat when you exercise, which allows you to be a little bit more comfortable. I know I'm not supposed to be walking and recording, but I can't stop. I need to hurry, we're a little bit late. Two more days before my concert, and I've been given this room to practice in. I don't know if you can see, but that is the Steinway piano I will be practicing on. It's pretty nice. The room is a little bit echoey, but I think the piano is quite nice to play on. This is the, the view. Some really tall t towers here, but everything looks narrow. Which is funny, because these things are tall. Which kind of reminds me of New York, but the thing is, in New York, everything's also really broad. Whereas here, everything's very narrow as well, but and tall, but not very broad. But I like this room, and I'm enjoying the piano, so I'm happy. I can do a lot of good practice before the recital, which I should probably get on it now. <sighs> yeah, but long story short, I'm excited for the concert. I'm enjoying my practice, I think it's very useful, and I'm liking the people I've met here so far. They've been very nice to me, very accommodating, uh, very helpful, and yeah, I mean, there's always a sense of guilt, I guess, that I don't speak the, any of the Indian languages, and it looks like I really ought to. So you get a bunch of them coming up to me and starting to speak to me in a language, and I don't know how to respond, which is really sad. <laughs> I just hear sound, but I will talk more about that later, I really should be getting on with my practice now. I can't stop the recording. But apart from that, most of the day I end up spending here, and then later on go get some food afterwards, and that's basically been how it's been so far. I think the concert day will be a lot more interesting, but today I'll also be able to meet the person I'm playing the duet with at the end because I will be playing two duets, um, the Brahms Hungarian Dancers numbers one and five. I guess it, it's good because it shows that I can play with others as well as as a soloist. See Revan, piano can play in a group. <laughs> that part wasn't for you guys, it's just for Revan. He believes that the violin is really great and he one of his points is that the violin can play with other instruments and he thought the piano doesn't. So I'm gonna prove that it does. It's been a long day of work. I've just finished my practice. I feel very tired. The jet lag's kicked in now. It's my second day. For me jet lag always affects me more on the second day than the first because I think on the first you're so exhausted with travel that you can basically sleep at any moment. So, my practice is done, and I'm looking forward to now having some dinner. But I think I'm good. I've run through my pieces, did my program, did some work on them. And I think, I think I'm set. I think it would be really good for the concert today. So it's the day of the concert. I've actually been experiencing a lot of body aches recently. And yeah, it's just been a bit uncomfortable. But... I made a commitment and I do pride myself on delivering so of course I will not let this affect my performance but I just hurts a little bit but I'm sure I'll be fine I'm still looking forward to the concert a lot and I think I'll still do a good job I'm looking forward to sharing that with all of you guys so that you can all see kind of I guess from my perspective what this experience has been like um, it's been really fun so far, so this concert should really end things on a really high note. And maybe, hopefully, i get invited back to play again. This is my final practice session before the recital. I'm going to be practicing on a Boston piano. I think it's really nice, I like it a lot. And I shall just be running through my program today, as I don't like to do it on the day of performance. I've been having a couple of aches and pains today, but I know better than to let that stand in the way of completing the job by playing in this concert, which I will do. This is the last 
backstage of the experimental theatre, I'm about to go and see my green room, which is green room number two, over here, with my name on it. And inside, I've kept my stuff. I will be here till my performance begins. Now my own, I have two study chairs, and my own toilet, and a nice couch. So that if I feel that I need to rest, I can just lie down there. Like this. There's a lot of stuff here. And relax before my concert. concert and the audience really appreciated it and liked it so I was very happy because that's the most important part for me as a performer and to show their appreciation they gave me this garland which in India is a very honorary thing to receive so I was very humbled to receive it as it was their way of thanking me and showing their appreciation I have only seen this uh, in movies and I've only seen the, like, the, the Prime Minister of India getting it so I never would have imagined that I would have received this honour in my life and so I'm just really happy to have received it. And it has these flowers which apparently represent many different things, uh, even in like weddings or death or something but in my case thankfully because I am still very much alive it is a mark of appreciation so I'm very humbled to receive it. Although of course the main joy of playing in a concert is the concert itself this is a, it's a nice I'm not complaining about getting this. I also in my phones got these three flowers which is amazing because I obviously wasn't expecting to receive anything but um, these two were given to me by these really 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 young kids they were like this height they were really cute I think we have some photos of that so I'll involve that so you can see and this one was an interesting story it was given by one of my mum's old friends who happened to meet us after the concert and she took us to a very good place to eat so I was very happy afterwards because I got a good dinner <laughs> 